everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anybody out there? Oh. Androbot. Androbot, follow my instructions. Androbot. Reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Calls unknown. Oh. Maybe if... Artie, default position. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. from Regis hasn't left the water. Koval also. He, he said something about it. Doctor, didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor, is everything all right? Doctor, please wake up. I report that I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm gonna examine him now. Hello, anyone there? I repeat, Crowter is in a serious condition. Finally! I've been listening to you for two hours. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know him. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther in the camp, and he's not well. What happened to him? I, I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse 2. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. 
No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor. Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Akinesia, mutism, impoverishment of mimic movements, and reaction to stimuli. These are all symptoms of stupor, but it's difficult to pinpoint the cause of this disorder. We need to quickly perform a complete set of tests, primarily a CT scan of his brain. Otherwise, I won't be able to say anything more. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, the lander. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Krauser. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. Not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. AZ 2316. Noting 360. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector, to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowter had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Oh, got it! Please make sure it works. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. Unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. A secure crowder. I have everything I need. Just. Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. It's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. Relay? Ah. Yasna? What are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. <sighs> what about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Once more. Status. Damn piece of joke. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That, I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Got someone. I'm following the signal.
That noise. Can you hear it? Yes. Is anyone there? What's going on? Doctor? Checking! It's a drill! So damn loud! Phew. It's finally stopped. Yes, sir. Are you there? I am. Unfortunately alone. Working equipment gave me hope, but someone just abandoned it. Didn't even turn it off. And that is indeed unfortunate. We need to expand our search radius. Something on the ground. It's a journal. Geological cross section measurements. These are Merritt's notes. She must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. Found the area marked by Dr. Crowther. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. <sighs> yes, it's relatively clean. too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind and haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area, but before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Mm, right. Anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. I'm going back.
Finally! Got a signal. Who is it? We'll know soon. I, I think it's Kovel. Kovel? <laughs> 